How's it going everyone? Paul with Adaptable Survival. What I want to do in today's episode is dive into what I have in this Ammo Crate Survival Kit. So with this Ammo Crate Survival Kit, the thought process behind this kit and this video is this is a kit that I can leave inside of my vehicle, whether that's on the floorboards behind my driver's seat, in the back, wherever I may have the room to store this, just so that I have a few extra items in case I'm in that emergency situation, whether I'm on a backcountry road, uh, if I have to, you know, get home by foot if my vehicle is broken down you know whatever the situation may be this will give me a few tools that will help me along that journey or that situation now this isn't meant to say I'm living out of this thing indefinitely or for a long term this is a very very short term kit this is 72 hours maybe a little bit longer if I stretch things out and dependent depending on the situation I'm in this kit's really just meant to supplement whatever I may have in my EDC pack that I'm typically carrying with me all the time anyway. That is for another video, but let's dive into the contents of this kit. So the container I'm using for this is just the MTM GI Utility Crate. You can find these at Menards, Cabela's. You look around, you can find them. Uh, but these just has a latch to keep it locked and as you can see I have quite the assortment of gear in here like I said this isn't meant to be a long-term survival kit this is just something very very short term just to get you by until you can get help or get back home first thing we'll talk about is calories people always underestimate the importance of calories yes you can go couple days even weeks without food but I can guarantee you you are not gonna have the greatest of times through some of the courses I've taken I've gone without food for three four days and have been fine may have gotten some small calories through that and that's really what this is geared for this one brick has 2400 calories in it now is this gonna be the greatest thing in the world definitely not but you can kind of tailor the food that you have in a kit like this to better suit your dietary needs your tastes so forth and so on I just grabbed this because I had it laying around and I just grabbed a few smaller items as I was throwing this kit together now for hygiene i just have some of these cold shower wipes now with it being summertime getting sweaty hot and sticky almost guaranteed this can just help to keep you a little bit more human kind of clean up if you have to go to the bathroom at least you have something to wipe with and you aren't grabbing leaves or you know sacrificing a t-shirt to clean yourself up so hygiene is important because for myself if I go a couple days without showering, I start getting some chafing in between my legs, so I always have things to address that. Hydration, because without water, you know, over a couple of days, you're gonna find yourself in a hard spot. I have definitely have gone with very minimal water for a day or two. Definitely not a great time. Very lightheaded, have all sorts of issues. Um, so I have a couple of different things for hydration in here. Number one, I have these one liter vapor bags because as you can see, I have a Grail Ultra Press in here. Now, in my EDC bag, I always have some sort of metal container, whether that's stainless steel or titanium. So I'm not concerned with having something to boil in this particular kit. I have that already with me with a nesting cup, and that's just something that rides in my backpack. This allows me to carry more water, purify water, and keep me on the move so I'm not sitting there boiling. You know, a big misconception people get is oh I can just boil my water and yeah you're gonna get clean water but go out on a hot ass summer day and boil some water and drink that and tell me how much you're enjoying your life yeah in a survival situation you're just worried about staying alive but you also kind of kind of balance that with the current temperament or temperature and environment you're in find yourself in so I have these vapor bags the other option I have is these catadine micro pure tablets now what I can do, I find myself at a water source, I can get clean water with my grill, 
fill up my water bottle, fill up these two vapor bottles with the grill. If that, for whatever reason, breaks down on me, I can resort to these tablets, drop a couple in here, drop a couple in my canteen. A couple hours later, I got clean drinking water. Navigation. Now, I have a compass in here just to kind of highlight this topic, but compass just so I know some general direction I can navigate if I know where I'm at ideally I'd want to have some sort of map of the area with me sometimes that's not always possible but we can supplement having a compass with the GPS features on our phone we could carry a dedicated GPS unit or if you're using your cell phone have an app like Gaia GPS uh, base map there's a whole host of them out there all really great options to navigate and have some redundancies for navigation in your kit. Fire starting. So I had some of these Yuko Titan matches. Extra Bic lighter and then just some of these quick tinder taps. Now main reason I have these is because they're so compact. You can throw them anywhere and forget that you have them and always have multiple ways to start a fire. You get about a minute to two minutes burn time out of these. Additionally to those, on the knife I have, I have a ferro rod. So I have three different ways to start fire. I have a magnifying lens on my compass so I'm more than set to start any fire that I may need. Cutting tools wise, I have this Mora Bushcraft Black. Now I have it in the orange, obviously, so it's not black, but as you can see, this is just one that I had laying around. This one I think I found after a course, or a couple months after a course, so I never really cleaned this up, which I could easily do, but that has the diamond plate on there so I can keep it honed up. And then I also have a Silky Pocket Boy in here if I am in a wilderness situation or in a backcountry road and I need to start a bigger fire, I have a way to collect materials if I don't want to just collect and break stuff off the landscape. Headlamp, I mean, what do you, what do you really want me to say? It's easy way to have light, hands-free, be able to do things at night. If you need to work on your vehicle, at least you have some sort of light that you're not having to hold with one hand and finagle the work with the other. Shelter, so I have two different space blankets in here. I just have an old grabber space blanket that I took through all my training courses, had it laying around, so I might as well throw it in this kit, kind of set it and forget it. And then I just have one of these SOL uh, one of their XL emergency blankets just as a redundancy to this one. It also gives me multiple ways to signal. Now, if I have this set up to collect heat, keep me warm, I can use this lighter one as a big ass signal panel to catch someone's attention. I do have some pace beads in here that would go along with the compass if I did have to navigate anywhere. Uh, I got these from my buddy Larry. Uh, I'll throw his YouTube channel down in the description box as well. Throw it across the screen here. Check him out. Uh, young guy just getting into things. So he sent me these a while back. These are pretty cool. So keep those in this kit. In this tough possums possible bag. This just holds cordage and some 10 stakes, nothing too fancy. I have two random hanks of bank line, so if I do need to you know, get all bushcrafty out there, I can, but I have ridge line, some guy lines, and then obviously I think I have six, six or eight, six or eight 10 stakes in here, so more than enough, so I'm not wasting time crafting oh. 10 stakes off the landscape if I don't need to. So that's a look in this ammo crate survival kit. You know, if you look at ammo can survival kits, you'll find them all over the internet. Uh, it's a really good exercise in understanding the pieces and parts of putting together a survival kit, number one, but also the gear that you may have laying around that you could put to use and have stashed away for an emergency. Like I said, this one's set up for just a short-term situation. This isn't meant to be living out of. I'm not going fishing, I'm not trapping. I'm just getting by to either res be rescued or getting home with my EDC pack, which is gonna have various items as well to supplement this kit 
it just gives me more options to address any potential life uh life-threatening situations or issues that may arise you know a lot of stuff just to get me by i'm not going to be thriving out there it's just getting me from point a to point b in simpler terms now with my channel a lot of people misconstrue what i'm doing here and think it's all just survival all about survival and yes survival is part of what i'm doing with this channel but i'm also talking about emergency preparedness as well as just getting someone out camping for the first time so i try to hit a wide gambit of videos so with this ammo crate survival kit video what i really want to start rolling this into is making other survival kits out of random things you know whether that's a five gallon bucket or going through a video for vehicle preps to ensure that you have things to address issues that aren't necessarily wilderness survival related but car battery dies, get a flat tire, things like that, incorporating those into your vehicle so that if those situations arise, you're not up a creek without a paddle. In the comment section down below, let me know what you've used to put together survival kits like this. Like I said, not a long-term thing, could be a short-term thing, or if you have ideas for long-term kits, definitely drop those down in the comment section down below. I look forward to seeing what you can come up with. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. That gets more eyes on what we're doing here, helps bring more people into our community so we can grow our knowledge base and learn together and grow together. This has been Paul with Adaptable Survival. Adapt your mind, your body, and your gear.